Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space goalie simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy on the LZ Alpha, and me and these 12 duplicates have been making our way into the future. A future of day 1,050, 10,000, oh, I wish. Maybe one day we'll get there, but not if the situations carry on like we have right now. You guys might remember that I am trying to set up a metal refinery down by the steam box here. We did have one over this side, but we've ripped it all down and we're going to now move it over here because this is where the heat processing is at. But we have a little bit of a problem down here. You can see that we have got some uh, some construction pipe orders underway and that is because actually, look at these lead pipes melting here. So we've got a big, big problem. Do you want to know why we've got a big, big problem? It's a bigger problem than I'm letting on right here. We're out of iron. We haven't got any iron. Where is the iron gone? And of course, because we have ripped down the metal refinery, we can't make any more iron. But that's not quite true. All the way at the top here, obviously space. Space likes to drop a lot of stuff on top of you, including little drops of iron here. So I'm going to try and dig my way up the side and see if we can't get access to some of these tasty, tasty raw materials. Well, actually, it's processed materials, but they're falling raw from space. Uh, and They are very hot, but we can deal with that. We can definitely deal with that. I mean, 246 degrees. That's, it's not that hot. And as it's, I suppose as it's going inside the steam box, that's kind of acceptable right oh oh look what we're seeing as i'm following miss up to the dig order cubic making the first harvest of a bristle a blossom beautiful we are in a little bit of a food crisis right now as you can see we've got some meat we got some tofu and we got some bristle berries but that isn't all the food that we're we're used to having we're used to having meal lice but unfortunately we ran out of dirt a little while ago and all the dirt that we are producing is going into our hatches here maybe all right maybe not but one of the best best thing that's going on with these guys is i've gone and put a career drop off up here so that whenever one of these guys goes a little bit over over uh, capacity they will get picked up and popped in this area where we will start a starvation ranch and hopefully hopefully get to a situation where we've got m enough meat to be surviving off of that's my aim is to be living off of barbecue but anyway miss is now up here digging the digs and let's see if we're gonna actually get any of the materials that we want i think we can just carry on going over in this direction and be a relatively uh, happy with the materials materials we get okay with the surface of space now exposed we should be able to get a whole bunch of this iron mad frank coming along doing some digging not really where i said his skills really lie but you know whatever we, we will make do with that what's miss gone off to do then miss is gone for a sleep all right fair enough i suppose that's that's acceptable I know, I'm starting to get the feeling I've got some real lazy... Actually, do you know what I want to do here? Do you know what I want to do? One thing that I've noticed is these guys don't really get enough downtime. Look, So I'm going to put some more downtime at, at the beginning of their day. Let's go do that. I want to do two of those and I want to have a bath time there. All right. And this should now allow my people to get enough rest. It is one of the big problems that have been uh, plaguing us forever. It's not like we actually need them to be going around and doing anything other than building the new materials. So uh, I, I think it's fine for us to do that. Also, this shovel, let's wrangle that up at the highest priority. Thank you. Despite the terrible conditions I keep all my workers in, Miss is running around with a balloon because she feels like she's having a good time. All you need to do is just give people nice sleeping equipment and suddenly they feel like everything is right with the world, even when they're being oppressed by the worst dictator in the world. I mean, I mean, by the best running colony supervisor that I've ever seen. Okay, back down in the steam box. The iron has been placed into place. Yeah, that, that's exactly the phrase I wanted to go for there. The iron has been put into place, and Mimi is now going around creating a whole a bunch of, uh, of of more more iron ore. No, this is the iron to steal. We need to now get this one involved, which unfortunately means we need to get this power line sorted. We are trying to pump all of this water out of here so we can get more power transformers. These two power transformers currently powering this metal refinery. We need one that can do with the auto sweeper and power this other metal refinery. So we're going to try and pump all the water out of here, as I say, and to do that, if I can press the right button, we're going to be using uh, just, just the normal 1k power transformer here. I feel like we could just... I was going to say steal a little current off of this line, but look at it. There's there's nothing in there. It's blue because there's nothing. Why is there nothing? There is petrol in the line. There's this. The, these batteries are full. Somehow we are not dumping power out and beyond here, and I'm not sure why right now. No, I literally have no idea. Look, 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 look at this. These batteries are hooked up to here. I don't... What? 
Why? Maybe this filter gate? Aha, right, found out what. Somehow I'd connected everything up together, and that's totally not how we want it. This battery down the end wants to be providing a signal clean and fresh just to this as it is. Yeah, there we go. Much, much better. Now we should be getting some power running out of here. I wonder how long that's been running like that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've we've hit the small minor issue that now that we've got this water being pumped out pretty consistently, it's actually backed up enough to overfill our water tank. This has obviously led us to a little bit of a problem where we can't pump that area out as fast as I would like to. So in the meantime, I feel like we can do something over here. I'm just going to grab my big, just big scary deconstruct tool and just rip all of this down. I feel like this can all be destroyed because we've got we've got a weird situation in our base right now where. We have taken, we have utilized, utilized a fair number of these natural gas geysers, but then decided to um, treat, treat each of them individually. And this has led to us having three separate sets of carbon skimmers and liquid pumps around dealing with the carbon dioxide and polluted water. When really what we could do is just pump it all into the same area and then deal with it all there and only have one set. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Of course, the big problem is we would need to try and figure out a better way of cooling this area down. This is uh, very very slow trickle of hydrogen isn't quite cutting it. So if we could deal with that, that would be like much, much better. Uh, also, ripping stuff down. Let's, let's get rid of that. And luckily, this guy is dormant for 16 cycles. So if we can get here and do it quick enough, we can deal with this when the whole time it's not producing natural gas. One of the first things I need to think about is where is the natural gas going? And of course, I am going to bring it down here to the bottom natural gas generator next to the steam box and our oil production. Uh, obviously, this is picking up the natural gas from here. And because it's such a short path, I think this is going to be the one that we keep. This does mean, however, that I need to try and figure out, let's get into screenshot mode, how to get from here to here. And I think coming down this long line would be the best option. It does mean we're going to have to extend this ladder here, but I have got no problems with that. What? Oh, it must be the autosave. Yep, autosave indeed. All right, now we should be able to just build this all the way down. I'm just going to keep going down, actually. Yeah, right, right here. Beautiful. I love it. Hopefully we won't drop all that water in and flood this area out. Oh, look, they're taking advantage of the downtime, chilling out near the printing pot. Oh, and then, then time is on. Schedule is go. I'm about that, actually. I'm about... I, I'll be honest, I was a little bit confused earlier on when I was like, where's the deconstruct crew? But of course, they were chilling out in their extra downtime that I have now given them. In a crazy act of premonition, I figured that Mad Frank might actually go around and rip out all the floor if I just did a blanket deconstruct. So I've used my council filter with the building... Uh, sorry, used my council tool with the building filter and gone along and uh, preserved the floors so that he can rip it all down and have something to stand on. Which, you know, quite useful. Even Aristotle needed something to stand on to move the earth, right? Aristotle! Archimedes! Which one had the lever? It was Archimedes, wasn't it? My bad. I mean, they've all got A names, right? They're just... Just go with them. A, a philosopher back in the day said... <laughs> Turns out ripping stuff down in the right order certainly is an art form. It's worked out incredibly well for us. All right, the next thing we need to do is get a little power. I'm going to go for the steam turbine. And from there, you know what we're doing here. We're just going to build a coal box, right? All right, it's time to take the old cooling system out. I think we can do it just by taking the pipes out. I'm having a look back here and being like, maybe we need to put a cut in this pipe. If we just rip down this bridge for now, just deconstruct that. Uh, we'll then... Like, just, just circle it around, right? We'll pull this one up. and In fact, let's just do it right now. Go whoop. And that should allow all the gases to return home. Go home! See, here's a big problem. we got bits of meat just being left lying around. Hmm. Not quite sure how to fix that. I could use these auto sweepers, but of course I would then have to cover the area in it. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this. Where's my dedicated... Dedicated chef, what are they up to? Shroud cooks. Everything but cooking, right? What what else have you got turned up? Let's just turn down the building. Okay, not nothing but cooking. Get on get on with it, man. No Mimi, no. She's gonna try and bury herself in there. Uh don't move over here. For some reason I could actually click the move. I just kept on clicking follow cam. Alright, as long as she stays on this ladder, she should be fine. But keep going inside there is not fine. Oh, I tell you what else is not fine. Wait, Mimi. Uh how do we go? P1. I do not want these being worked on. Hey, but move over here. I want to get these items out of here because they're going to absorb a whole bunch of heat if I just leave them. But we have mostly got the situation in place here. My main plan, you see this uh, airflow tile over here, is to pump this entire area out by pumping water in instead. Uh, Mimi, please no. Please, please no, Mimi. Just please no. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. She's coming all the way up to space. Thanks, Mimi. Just, just stop. <laughs> Uh, hopefully in that t meantime, someone should come along and grab this little bit of iron. Thank you, Jelly. All right, beautiful. Now we'll just seal this all back up. And we've got this little water pipe over here. I mean, we can't tell it's water apart from if we come down to this junction. So I am going to push this just from this little area here. In fact, I'm going to bring it down the ladder across and into there. And that should now hopefully give us a nice... Oh, I don't, I don't want to turn this pipe from an insulated pipe into a not insulated pipe. Let's go that way instead. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Gonna turn my ones into nines, and hopefully this will get dealt with next time. Or tomorrow, however you want to call that. I may have slightly forgotten to put a power line in place here. I definitely cannot make it out of uh, lead, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but I'm going to try and do a little bit of corner building to get to it. Hopefully we don't need to crack that back open. Not not that it actually would matter too much right now. But it's nice to, uh, to test your systems out. Also, this is only going to be on if above zero okay conductive wire is it reachable uh, the errands think it is so cool and there we go beautiful done so of course the next thing should actually have just been connected great is there any water coming along here let's press f6 and have a look it doesn't know what to do all right i i, I can understand why it doesn't know what to do so let's try and just uh, steal a little bit using pipes uh, the bridges sorry the bridges the bridges are possibly the most useful item in the entire game i think you use them to redirect flow, you can use them to create priorities, you can uh, just, just, just do everything, let, let alone the uh, the actual crossing of lines that they can do. Okay, will this do what I was hoping it would do? It has, yes, it works. All right, brilliant. I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't, but this should now fill up the line nicely. And then when we don't want it anymore, we will just rip down this pipe, connect it over, create a little gap in the pipe here, and it should all drain back into the system. Of course, the next thing we need to do is try and extract some ethanol somehow this shouldn't be too much more difficult than what we've just done maybe uh, bring it along the top line here or perhaps down the bottom i mean the problem is once we get to this central core of pipes as you can see it gets quite thick down here so trying to get past all of it is uh, a little bit awkward little bit awkward so maybe we'll go over the top of course i want to fill this area up with ethanol but what i want to do right now is to ah yeah i, I was a little bit worried that this would be the case what i'm gonna do then is destroy this steam turbine as much as i don't want to and put another couple of well just fill the topping with airflow tiles right yeah hopefully hopefully this isn't gonna drop anything down into the chamber ah oh, that that would be beyond terrible all right here we go let's observe what's gonna happen all right we didn't lose anything that's great that is perfect what was oh no the, the oxygen's full of slime lung why have we got a slime lung problem here what's going on there's chlorine down below is there any polluted oxygen no. How are you... Oh, there is a little bit, but not much. How do you survive? Oh, in here. This is, this, this is the area where it's all building up. Crazy. This may take a couple of cycles to fill up. I'm, I'm looking at the water value down below. As you can see, we're nearly at a kilogram. That means we'll have a full tile. I think a kilogram of water is a full tile. Uh, if it tops out exactly 1,000 here, we will know. One, uh, 999. Bam. Yeah, all right. It's moving up. Uh, and if we have a look at the overlay, you can see all the oxygen is being totally squeezed out of here. Oh, brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Wow. I was kind of hoping this wouldn't be the case, but we are literally going to have to fill up every single block to 1,000 before this claw gets out of here uh, if i press the f4 oh, this auto save press the f4 you can see there's just this tiny little blob of 123 grams it's so small we're putting in tons of water to try and get rid of this one tiny little blob of chlorine ah oh. of course the real burning question is even when we fill this up will it displace it it's 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 going over pressure oh no all right, how do we deal with this? How do I mean, obviously, we're just going to have to rip up this tile here. Oh, this is such not a good idea. Oh, no. <laughs> I really don't want to delete that tile. I'm, I'm going to stop, stop that right now. I'm going to try and go in through this side instead and see if we can't do some sort of weird corner build. Oh, even dropping in a little bit. Oh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. One, part, one tiny bit down there will probably be fine. I'm going to try and fill this in with something i'm not sure what we're gonna fill it in with i'm tempted with a liquid vent actually and try and drop some more water on top of it and see if that works but that then leaves us with like multiple liquid vents and that that would be very very awkward uh what i'm just gonna try and do is to put the, the tile with some sand stuff what, what have we got loads of stuff off that i don't mind never seen again bit of granite let's try that let is this even reachable also how long is this dormant for six cycles we're good <laughs> 
Okay, we're going to go for another corner trick as well. I'm not sure whether we'll be able to do it, but I'm going to try and pick up the uh, the debris from that tile. Uh, okay, so that, that should now be good. We should now be able to fill that in like a soul uh, to seal lifts in and not allow any oxygen back in. This should then be only water and steam in there. Once it's sealed up properly, I'm going to try and destroy that granite tile and then using this igneous ladder that I'm just building, try and get the corner snatch here whilst we're at it let's uh let's snip this here shall we and of course to remember we said when we do that we delete this liquid bridge and connect this back up to that also the water flow has stopped all right beautiful beautiful this is what we were after here nice Okay, moment of truth. Granite goes down. Where does the item go? Goes down there. Uh, we've filled this up with water. That's fine. I mean, it is literally overflowing with water. That that might be a little too much, but whatever. We'll see what happens. It's going to take a while to warm up, right? Well, this is going to take some cleanup when we're done, but this is the ethanol line. Now, you might be going, hmm, this thing pump puts out at quite a degree. Let's have a look. At 150 degrees, and ethanol, ethanol boils, vaporizes, in fact, at 75 degrees or thereabouts. I don't think it's exactly 75. We can go look it up. Uh, but... If as long as we keep the the cycle moving, and as long as we keep a uh, big enough stock of ethanol in the tank, we should be able to keep the temperature low enough that the stuff that is constantly flowing through only picks up some temperature, but doesn't end up boiling the lot because it will then get cooled down by the thermal aqua tuner. That's the plan. It does work with the hydrogen generator. Where where was that? It works over here, so I, I'm hoping it will work out fine. Look at this, like ethanol going through at minus 80 and it's only coming out at minus 70, so that should work fine. What What are you complaining about? Oh no, overheat? How hot is this water here? Ugh, lead again. Always lead. Why have I got lead in my water supply? Oh look, this doesn't know what to do. Okay, so we can't pipe that on like that. Hmm, that's a little awkward. So this bridge here that I was going to use to pipe the uh, natural gas into this line has gone and confused this system so we're gonna have to get rid of that and try another way i might even just end up dropping another one of these bridges if i do it like that that might work i've got a feeling that will work actually and of course we bring the pipeline all the way to this ladder we can just push up and find ourselves at the uh oh no ah that's a little awkward we've got another pipeline running through here that's not too impossible what's going on with this why is this not working pipe blocked why are you blocked wait <laughs> Uh, I see, this is filtering out for natural gas, but actually, actually, we want to send that down this way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of this. This filter here, be gone with ye. Every time we update any system, we're going to have little things like this where another system was inadvertently relying on it, and now we've taken that reliance away. That, that's not a big problem. The big problem is spotting them. Why is this still turning? I have... Ah, oh man. Please, rip this one down. Nine. D d d d d full, full red alert. Wait, it's unreachable. Is it like unreachable? Wait, what? Ah, here we go. Fixed it. That's a terrible fix, actually. I feel bad for that. Let's put one there as well. Gotta wonder how I got these pipes in and stuff. Yeah, there we go. The gas flows again. Wait, it's almost still gone. Wait. Well, it's super unfortunate, but this block, this little bit of debris here, it's totally unreachable. That is big shames. Big, big shames. Engaging a little bit of pipe cleanup here just to encourage, just to leave some room for other pipes to come up. Mostly the uh, the return line for the natural gas. That's that's going to be very awkward. We've got uh, this this sort of waste line here that we need to try and move over, and that couldn't move until the hydrogen line had been moved, which of course we don't need anymore. But so by moved I mean destroyed. There are some bits of this game that just inherently take longer than others and uh, laying down large lines of pipe definitely seem to be one of the longest. It's already taken me maybe like an hour and a half to do what is essentially a very fast job just because I have to move in fluids and gases from all over the place and this is taking a long time to get them in. Well, I was running out of iron and ripping down all the automation has definitely given that back to me, so that's pretty tasty. Sometime tomorrow, this natural gas geyser is going to stop being dormant, so I we need to up the priority of everything that needs to be done inside here. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to drag it around the box and see what we can get done there. Uh, and then, of course, we need to put these insulated tiles back in place. But that that's going to take a little while longer. Okay, that's all the uh, the immediate jobs that need doing done. Let's just cancel this up here. We'll say we'll say that they're not important for now. We'll put down these two tiles in here. These are very important.
important. These stop the heat escaping out through this front door. Uh, I'm just going to put that on a nine and let the uh, the natural processes take care of it. All right, what are we going to do about this this block of granite here? We're just going to have to cancel the sweeping and wait. Well, the guys have come back on right on time. Unfortunately, we haven't quite managed to fill up this place with ethanol yet. We've got 22 kilos in there, but if you look, the pipes be empty. And the reason that the pipes are empty, we don't have this pumping over here. But thankfully, Dr. Captain Subs, in the time it's taken me to explain to you what is wrong, has come along and solved that particular issue. All right, beautiful, beautiful. We're just going to pump out what we can here. I don't know how long it's going to take for that tank to get full, but I reckon just a single battery will probably be enough. Maybe two batteries. Oh, no, we'll We'll find out. Okay, this should be the final essential piece that is going into place. Apart from she's not going to make it, she needs to make another delivery. All right, fine. Do them in the other order. See if I care. Maybe, maybe with having one of the power... No, guys, no, no. Come along and do these now. Well, I was going to say maybe we're getting the battery done first. We will end up we are storing some power from this second power transformer. But she's going to do the, the original power transformer first. That's fine. That should now just be powering this bad boy up. Empty pipe. What? Oh, I've got... Wait, I know why. I know what's going on here. I cut this to allow some of the ethanol to build up in the tank. Okay, so the first thing that happens with the flow, it goes around and it chills down the thermal aqua tuna, because at some point that's going to start uh, producing some heat. We need to chill that down. The second thing it does is come in and start chilling down the actual natural gas that is in here. Obviously, this thermo sensor needs to register below 70. I would actually like to have that below 50. Uh, okay, and then this, this one here, if above zero, turn this on. This is brilliant. I even actually want to have this above minus 20. I, th I think that will be fine. Now what we need to do is keep power running to it. Why am I getting a piped block message here? Let's come down, follow the pipe along here. Oh no, what's going on? All right, so it looks like Mr. Line is actually on it right now. Uh, we need to get these pipes fixed. Oh look, oh, they're already at high priority, but alert, alert. Okay, that's three in place at the same time, and hopefully this now means we are flowing with gas. The gas does flow. All right, brilliant, beautiful. Finally, after two hours, two hours or so, we managed to get this system up and running. Oh, that, I, I was expecting this to be like a 20 minute job. Oh. Looking at the way the temperature of the water is going up, I say we're dumping about a degree a cycle in there. So that should take a while for that to warm up until we're producing heat. But that's fine. That is totally fine because we're still moving all the natural gas, which is a fuel for, uh, for power, down towards where it needs to be. The next thing we need to do, of course, is to expand out the uh, the, the, the furnace array here, the, the natural gas generators, because, of course, burning the fuel, uh, eventually we're going to end up with this one trying to outgas to it. Let's have a look. Uh, is this uh, dormancy not for 67 cycles? This one's also going to be feeding in. Uh, we're going to need at least another two natural gas um, generators here, right? Famous last words, guys. I don't think it should take us too long to upgrade this to a couple of more burners up there. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it actually goes. I'm hoping just, like, knock it out really quickly, right? We uh, the, the, the big problems that we've got is that we need to reroute this power supply going for the aqua tuna down here, but I don't think that's a big, big issue. We could probably move this large power transformer just to down below and power it from underneath sounds great to me we do also have a little bit of a water line coming in here but honestly i've not ever seen this be used so i don't i don't think we're ever going to need it and to uh, to deal with that i'm going to first by uh, first start by taking away this liquid bridge and start uh, taking away this liquid shut off Oh, liquid shelf. I've just remembered that I went ahead and deleted one over here. Okay, we should deal with that. <laughs> like that? Yeah, like that. All right, beautiful. I suppose the only real big question is, do we put it down, put the transformer down here, or do we pop it up here? I think up here, look, it even wants to sit there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, slam that in. It's got its own little cooling device, look. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. We can even keep this wire in place. Okay, actually going incredibly smoothly. The uh, sorting out of the power was a little bit of a head scratcher, but that, that that's really gone and got so now we are wasting a little bit of power until that line gets put back into place but honestly i don't care all that much that's probably why i keep having rolling brownouts Okay, the big actual head scratcher we need to figure out now is how we're going to chill this place down. Because obviously, increase in generators equals an increase in heat output. So we've got to be a little bit careful. That, that's a terrible way of doing this. Let's do this again. 
Okay, this is where it all can go horribly wrong. In the process of upgrading, I've cut a few lines that I probably shouldn't have. Uh, so we're going to just have to go around and uh, build this as quick as possible and hope things don't overheat in the meantime. Or, in fact, freeze. I, I, there could be all sorts of things that go wrong. All right, it flows through at least one of them again. That's pretty good. The other one is getting built as we are talking. So hopefully now the uh, the line should be split. All right, we're, we're getting some nice cooling. The real question, of course, is how high a temperature does it come through with at the end? 90? That's not too bad. It could be a lot, lot worse. Yeah, it could be close to 100 or whatever, right? This one's coming through at 20, but then that's dropping down again. That was probably just uh, latent heat from what was going on. Ah, oh, already got one of the extra, extra um, generators on the go. But that's good, because we are starting to get a bit of a backlog. Uh, but at that same, by that same token, last time I looked, it was up here somewhere. So we are eating through that as well. Oh, oh, they're giving us some free dirt. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some dirt. Thank I never, ever thought I'd be thankful to see dirt. Look, even, even the... Oh, actually, we should totally take these down there. Useless to... Uh, are they useless to us? Yeah, they are useless to us. Let's get rid of them. Oh, this is dangerous. It's very close to getting in the base. Oh, no. All right, attack 999. All right, whoever can get him at any point. Oh, this is, this is very bad. How do we do this? Yeah, this is where he got through sedimentary rock. Oh, man. that Seal that up. It's got to be obsidian. It literally has to be obsidian. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, Cubic's got him. Cubic has got him. It, it, I didn't even know it was a skill Cubic possessed, to be honest. I thought it was Decipher and Brum only. Uh, is this going to be the winner? I'm... Not sure if you can get out of there. Let's let's try and no pending delivery. Yeah, I was a little worried about that. Hmm. Well, it's technically possible to get him, but we've got no pending deliveries at the moment, which means he's a little bit unreachable. This we will sort out at some other point. But right now, I want to come down all the way down the map and show you these fully uh, working and operational uh, natural gas guys. As you can see, we're getting through the backlog down here, and that means we will then start getting through this backlog over here. And and with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where food is still a problem. So we're going to have to try and find out something about something to do with that. But we've managed to centralize some more of our power processing. So this should give us a bit more of an efficient process there. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. That vole pup, though. Urgh.